Today we have a 2010 Ford Escape XLT. It's got the 3.0 motor. We have a check engine light with a P108, um, which happens to be your map sensor. We're gonna show you where it's located and how to either clean or replace it. This is your Ford 3.0 Duratec motor, 24 valve, of course. Your map sensor happens to be located right back here. And all that does is actually measure the air pressure in your manifold and sends that information to the, uh, the computer. So if you can see back here, there's a little tab you gotta push down. You see it with two hands, just like that. That little tab, you push that down. And there's a little eight millimeter we gotta take off. Sometimes you can just clean these. Sometimes you gotta replace them, but most people don't clean them, but probably not a bad idea some electrical cleaner. Okay, there's that bolt. And then it's sitting on that peg right there. You just gotta wiggle it, pull it out. Just like that. You can see it only has the one eight holding it right there. And you just wipe any debris from falling in there, away from there. And you can see it's got like a little dowel there it sits on, which is a nice design. And on this thing right here, you gotta make sure when you put the new one or clean this one, put it back in, that uh, that O-ring is in place. Even though this uh, engine's got a, a code on it for a map sensor, I'm gonna actually clean this and see if it does go off. Like I said, I usually don't clean them like that, but I got some electrical cleaner. And uh, I'm just gonna spray it and see if it uh, actually shuts off that code. I mean, they're not that expensive to buy a new one. I think it's like 30 or 40 bucks. If it was a hard uh, location to get at, I wouldn't be doing this, of course. So I'll let this dry for five minutes and reinstall it. We let it sit for five minutes, dry off a little. Now, the nice thing is it's just got that dowel, so you just gotta push it like that. And make sure that O-ring's on there, which it is. Put it in place like that. Get my little trusty eight out. Now, if cleaning it didn't help, I'll just replace it with a new one. Not a big deal. It's so easy to get at in this one. It's worth the effort. Okay, snug that up. Last thing we do is grab that wire wherever it went. Right there. Push that until it clicks in place. Just like that. And that's all it takes to uh, clean or replace a map sensor on a 2010 Ford Escape with a 3.0 motor.